Previously on Fallout New Vegas. With Benny now laying lifeless on the floor of the Tops Casino, things started to look up for Courier 6. However, as it would turn out, Benny was just the tip of far more elaborate machinations. The Courier's actions in Vegas caught the attention of major groups like the NCR and Caesar's Legion. Even the reclusive Robert House himself came to see further potential in the Courier's abilities. But within the walls of Benny's casino, an entirely unexpected opportunity had presented itself. Oh! Hey gang, what's good? Uh, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I was just here, uh, you know, in the Lucky 38, checking out some of this fine art. My god, isn't it, isn't it really something? Oh, you can really tell. This looks like, um... I think this this could be a, uh... Oh dear god, who's a, who's a famous artist? Um... A Van Gogh, yeah, or or a Monet. He, he was an artist, right? He wasn't a uh, a composer. Yeah, Monet, a Claude Monet. Yeah, who who was the ear guy? Was that Monet, the depressed ear guy? All right. Anyway, um, here we are in the Lucky Thirty Eight, and you can see I've done a little bit of decorating. I've done a little bit of item management. My God, it took for freaking ever to um fill this with pre-war money because um basically what I had to do is I took my stack of like a hundred twenty something split them all into fives, and then you could split them all really quickly rather than having to go through the, um, the big old, um, oh, what do you call it? The, the, like, dial where, where you select, oh, look, some of it spilled out. Hang on. Don't worry, baby. I got you. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, we can even sort of bathe in here as Boone looks on. Yeah, we got Boone with us now. Oh, yeah. Eddie's over there, hanging out, having a good time. And, of course, you know, I was... Facing this conundrum of, well, what could I fill this other bathtub with? And you know what? I asked everyone. I asked uh, the companions, I should say. everyone, All the fake people in the video game, I asked all them. And you know what? They couldn't quite decide either. But then, I remembered a little something. I remembered a little something something that we, uh, we struck up. And my god, you know what? Turned out to be one of the greatest fucking ideas ever. You know what's... I, I thought, man... What, what, what could be worth more than a big old bathtub of useless pre-war money? My god, that's, that's some real value there. Could it be maybe, maybe like a, a bathtub full of gold? No, no, maybe a bathtub full of, um, of NCR money, because, you know, the NCR, they're, they're on the up and up, right, Boone? Yeah, yeah, Boone would agree, look at him. <sighs> Fucking Boone. Or, or maybe some, some Legion currency, hmm? Maybe some of that, I don't know. Or, or some poker chips, that could be fun, you know, we're in Vegas, why not fill a bathtub full of poker chips? And then I thought, maybe we should skip the middleman, right? We've, as I've learned from, um, you gentle viewers, um, water, purified water is actually very valuable and backs, um, NCR currency, I believe, something along those lines. I thought, you know what, maybe we'll fill it with water. Just like a regular ass b bathtub, except bottled water. Wouldn't that be weird? But but then I thought, hmm, I think we can go one step better. And I thought, what could be more valuable in the Mojave Wasteland than all of that? All of that combined? What do you think, Eddie? What do you think, Boone? What do you think, Ganon or whoever the hell that was walking back there? And then I realized the answer was with me all along. The answer was legs. <laughs> Yes, yeah, some legs. Oh, yeah, some valuable legs. Oh, yeah, give me that. Mm, look at that. Oh, God, they are disgusting and probably smell like complete shit. Oh, but that's that's what we're collecting now. I don't know if we'll ever find any more legs in the entire wasteland, but my God, if we fucking do, we are sending them here. Mm, legs. Oh, and we got a pair in here. Disgusting, honestly. And, oh, look. <laughs> I also realized... What what the perfect thing is for for old Arcade Ganon here, and you know what? He's no longer Arcade Ganon, just regular old Arcade Ganon. He's Arcade the Bull Ganon. Look at him go! Holy shit, he's ready to headbutt some fools. And of course, I gave him the old uh, matter modulator as was recommended, and I gave Boone since we're uh, gonna have Boone with us. Paciencia. Yeah, it, it looks pretty fitting with him with the little um cloth over it there. I don't know what that design is. Looks like some kind of, uh, eagle? I don't know. But Boone's loving it. Man, look at Boone. He's he's like, oh man, thanks. I'm so bald, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta win 
we're a big time. You, you gotta have a big win. What we're in Vegas. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, um, our our order of business. Casino, I have decided. I've made an executive decision that before we begin the DLC, which will be the next big order of business, we want to get a few things out of the way. Um, in the wasteland, uh, in in the mainland area, the main game, and those are. For a few uh, concerns that I have, the first order of business is to make sure that we get the, um, oh gosh, I don't quite remember what the quest is even called, but it's, um, it's the talent hunt one. Because when I'm traveling around to the DLC areas, or just for whatever the hell reason I might be out there, I don't want these people to die. There's a good chance I, at least one of them might get gunned down. And you know what? We're going to stop that from happening by preemptively going out of our way. Is Victor going to say something here to us? Hi, partner. Good to see you again. Oh, that's good to see you again, too, Victor. But... Oh. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Um... Yeah, that's me. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Hmm. If you're about to ask me for help, stop. Uh, and this is where I come in? Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Um, all right, I'm on it. Dr. Lyle diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. <laughs> what a fucking line. I'm not interested. Hell yeah, we're going to do a barter check. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Hmm. All right, I'll do it. You've convinced me. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. All right, cool. Maybe we should do this. Uh, but yes, I have like a little checklist of things before we begin the DLC. Right now we are at level 19 and we're evil. Um, we're going we're gonna to hopefully fix that by righting some wrongs before we get started on the DLC. And we'll probably end up at about level 21, 22, I don't know. Depends on how much XP we get from quests and how many people out in the wilds try to murder us, and we instead murder them back. Anyway, I guess, since we're in the area, we may as well just do this. It'll be weird if we don't do it since we just had this conversation. So, we're going to screw over house, or at least try to. And we're going to come on up in here, and we're going to plant a little bug. And you know what? It's going to be called the greatest bug of all time. It's going to be a, uh, a, Hercul a Herculean beetle. Or a, uh, a horned dino- Oh my god, we hit a treasure trove! Oh my god, I forgot that there's this is actually a casino, and thus it's loaded with money! Oh my good god! Holy shit! What a treasure trove! <laughs> oh my gosh, this was great! It was a good thing that we actually came back here and did this! Man, we should, we should maybe look around here for some more pre-war money. Holy hell, and add it to the tub. Oh, man. Who knows? We may even find a mutilated leg back there. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Ooh, I'm getting excited just thinking about that mutilated leg. Holy hell. Oh, man. Thanksgiving was just not too long ago. Was eating some mutilated legs from a turkey. And now I'm going to have some mutilated legs from God knows what. I don't know what it is, but you know what? I want it, and I'm going to take it. I'm always going to have them. I want them all. Oh, a little pack of cigarettes. Don't mind if I do. Let's see. We, we've also got um, a big shipment of garbage here that we're going to dump. We need to encounter another a specific vendor. A very specific man. A uh, shot. Knife now. Okay. And we're going to sell off a bunch of stuff. Boone and Eddie both have um, a big load. They got a big, fat, juicy load that they're ready to unload at the old vendor. And we're going to try and see if we can't hit that up and check out what kind of goodies that vendor has. And it is perhaps the most important vendor in all the land. And if you've played this before, you may know who I'm talking about. It's a little friend who likes to live in a little shack. But for now, we're, gra we're 
gathering money. Money hunting. Bottle caps, drain cells, look at all this. Plasma defender up in here? My good god. Look, I just want all of that. That's what I want. A rawhide cowboy hat? Man, they look pretty bad. I love the sheriff's hat, it's gotta be said. The sheriff's hat is king. It reigns supreme. Let's see. Oh man, look at all this. Let's take all. Oh man. Look, I have, to, I have to take it manually, but you know what? I love that. What a great feeling. There's no feeling quite like it in the entire wasteland. Just looting a shitload of pre-war money. You got some big ones. Hell yeah. Look, what's in here? Oh my gosh. Whole bunch of wild shit. Look at this, a sawed-off shotgun. Look, it's too much. We can't even carry it around. We're gonna have to dump some off on our pals. Another sawed-off shotgun. Um, let's see. Can we repair... No, we, we don't have that yet. We're gonna get, um... I think jury rigging is actually next on our list of, uh, perks we're gonna pick up. Uh, we should probably just grab these big ones here while we're at it. Oh gosh, where'd our friends go? Our friends left us! They saw our greed and they were not pleased at all. They just ran off... Oh, look at this! Oh my gosh, hiding from me! Ooh! You little scamp! Oh, wanna wanna! That's how scamps sound. Fine by me. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Let's dump some trash on Boone. Boone, I know you love it. You love holding trash. And you know what? I've got a big heap full of trash just for you, Boone. Just for you to lug around. Lugging it and getting a nice workout. Oh, man. What a, what a time to be alive for Boone. Honestly. He's feeling invigorated. He feels like... The old days are coming back when he had a lush head of hair. Oh, good lord. But, really, under that beret, he's just a bald asshole. But he's our bald asshole! And damn it, I still love him. Poor Boone. You gotta give some love to old, old Boonie. Old Boonie Schmoonie. Alright, you know what? We, we got completely sidetracked up in there. We did, The quest thing is actually up here. Funny thing about this, this little scene here... From the opening, where, you know, the camera zooms out and the uh, blue moon is playing. That moon picture ain't here, man. Ain't no moon. Anyway, this is this is a little doohickey we gotta activate. Oh shit, look, it's hard. We may be too dumb to activate. Oh, look. We actually can. Bugging it. Oh yeah, 50 XP. Gimme that. Return to Emily Ordle on the New Vegas Strip with news that the tower has been bugged. Mmm. Man, that was pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy, definitely, uh, you know, <laughs> definitely isn't very suspicious or anything. Oh, shit, the golden gloves? What? Oh, and a copy of Boxing Times, too. Let's see, how much weight do we have? Man, we can't even pick up these gloves. Are they actually made of gold? Wow, look at all this whiskey. Cass is gonna go buck wild when she sees that. Speaking of Cass, she's on our to-do list. Well, hmm, interesting choice of words. But <laughs> we're, we're gonna get Cassidy before we head on out of here. Let's see, Eddie, can you hold on to these gloves? Yes, you can. Please hold these gloves. You can wear them if you want. I don't know how you'll do it. You'll maybe put one on your little doohickey there. And just sort of go ramming speed. Could you imagine that? Oh, man. I would like to see that. Someone someone whip up a mod for that where Eddie has a melee mode and he just does ramming speed with gloves on his little wiener schnitzel there. All right, what have we got over here? Any more pre-war... Oh, what's this? Is this uh, inaccessible? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Look at how close these are. I mean, these are like... This is pretty close as hell. Good lord. No wonder it went out of business, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I want to say that there's more secrets underneath some of these tables or something, or maybe I'm just misremembering, and it's a different casino that has a sort of secret related to these all these tables that do seem inconspicuous, but actually have boohoo bucks all over. Let's see, vodka and... Man, if we ever run out of money, which we may at this new vendor, this new super vendor. Look at all this. Oh, my God. Eddie, where'd you go? Boone, you, you also. You, Fine you by take me. some more garbage here. My God, I'm, I'm garbaged up. Garbaged up, pal. Here, take that. Uh, let's see. A carton of cigarettes. My God, we got 26 pounds of cigs. Holy shit. Man, we're ready to light some shit up. All right. Grab all these. Oh, yeah. What else? Anything, uh... Oh, empty. No. Okay. Fair enough. Man, look at all these coffee mugs as well over there. Did you see that? Man, we could turn that into a bunch of coffee if we wanted. Alright. Speaking of which, I always thought that there was a, um... A reloading bench up in the, uh, the penthouse floor. But there's not. I don't know. 
It, it's just a regular work workbench, no reloading thing at all. Kind of weird. Oh shit, look at this. Pre-war money up here. Look, did we miss it? Did we miss it earlier, or is this a different location? This place is deceptively humongous. Bottle caps. Or maybe it's not deceptively humongous, and I've just grown complacent with its, um, size, I guess. Alright, let's see. Anything else? Pre-war money up in there? No. A bunch of just single chips in there. Alright. Sorry, Eddie. Alright, there we go, yeah. I think we got pretty much everything. We left some, some cigarettes around, didn't we? Should we go back for them? Nah, fuck it. We, we've got a we've, we've got a hefty load to sell off. All right, let's head on. Oh yeah, check them out. They used to be cops, but now. Enjoy your time on oh, the man. Vegas Strip. There's some mighty mighty men. All right, let's head on out to the tops and grab. Um. Hey, have you oh. been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Oh my gosh, I I'm sorry, I completely forgot. But yeah, I I, I did it. Uh, I bugged the tower for you. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. Hmm. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Yeah. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. It's almost like he's some kind of, um, engineering programming genius or whatever. Look at these people just dancing by this guy's beheaded body. What the fuck? Oh, man, Gamora. They are fucking depraved as hell. And you know what? It's gotta be loved. You gotta it's love it. To sleep in this place, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back for you. We'll be back for you. Oh, you know what? We almost forgot. These things, they've got shit in them. Look, you can't see it, but... Look, on top left, we're getting the stuff. Good lord. Yeah, let's shut them. And now we should leave them open that way we, if we ever come back. Oh my god. Let's see here. There we go. Good lord. I like his jokes, but it, I don't like that he never shuts up! Good lord! Oh man, look at that guy. What a cool looking guy. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's see. What have we got here? Man, so many little booklets. You gotta love it. Alright. Coming on into here, and who is this guy? Oh, he's just a... I'm glad to see you. Oh, really? Why? NCR Rangers deserve all my praise. Yo, who do you... What? I'm not a ranger! What's up? Or is he just saying in gen- Oh, he maybe he's talking about Boone. Yeah, you better praise Boone. Look at him. He looks like a freaking god. It's blast off Boone himself in the flesh. All right. Up in here. I think this is the only quest in the tops. Well, besides like the, the main storyline quests. <laughs> hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <gasps> oh, my God. I forgot that we were looking for fucking Benny right there. Oh god, it's framed perfectly. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, yeah. Sure. Take the holdout weapons. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Uh-huh. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kit. Yep. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapon. Right, right. Now that yeah. we got that. Yeah, we've heard this before. Oh man. I didn't I didn't realize that this was actually just the perfect location to have Benny. But, um, lo and behold, it is absolutely the perfect location to have him. Hey, there's the high roller. All right, yeah, yeah, the high roller is here. Look out, everybody. Let's see, is this, um, hmm, I'm not sure if it was the diner, or, well, let, let's, let's come in here and check. Because if you remember, there's a whole bunch of folks all over the waist. Uh, no, I don't think this is it. Yeah, I think, um, we're in the wrong place, for sure. Who is this guy? Is this a guy? No. Look at him. Wow. I've never seen a guy who looks so much just like, well, that's a guy. <laughs> Boone is, is not pleased with my bullshit. Oh, this bartender. Do you sell anything? Get your drink? Worthwhile? You bet, I'm parched. Best booze in Vegas, baby. What'll it be? Um, let's see. Atomic cocktail. Brahmin Wellington. Huh. I've never seen that before. Alright. Should we just buy that? Nah, maybe we'll leave it on. Might be a quest thing. I don't know. Might be uh, some sort of thing where someone's like, Oh, man, I wish I had a Brahmin Wellington from the tops. Look at that. A fresh apple. Oh, shit. We need to be on the lookout. Could there be a fresh pear in here? I don't have my, my pear dar on, but you know what? If there is, I want it. To make it suffer for 10,000 years or Did something. you know the strip's all stirred up lately? 
Yeah, man, I've been stirring it. Stirring it and shaking it. All right, courtyard. I don't think this is the right place either, but I think it, it links up. Good lord. Man, the tops is actually huge. I forgot that it has this humongous pool. Is this safe to drink? Oh, yeah, look, zero rads. Man, it's purified. All right, or maybe the chlorine cleanses the rads from it? I don't know. I'm... Hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't think you can clean radiation with How's chlorine, right? I don't think that's how that works. All right, so there... Hmm. Yeah, it looks like, uh... That's the only passage. Is, is there a secret thing back here? Is there maybe a secret plant? A hidden herb? I don't know. I don't... I'm not picking up any herbs here. Sorry, Boon and Eddie. We don't... We're not going on some wild, fantastic herb adventure. All right. Head on out here. Hopefully this is the right... Oh, my God. What a maze! What a maze! Okay. Should be right back. It should be the one next to the diner if it's not the diner. Good lord, we've just gone in a humongous circle. I dig this crazy slang. <laughs> NCR Rangers oh. deserve all God, my God, I praise. thought he would say something else fantastic. But no. Oh, is this it? The theater? Oh, this could be it. All right. Hopefully they aren't, like, singing licensed music or something. Good. Um, let's see. Bartender, where is the, the, the main man? Oh, there he is. Tommy Torini. Oh, shit, look, he's got a sweet-ass you know eye patch. Up, man, really? can I get an eye patch? Dude, that is what I want. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Um, yeah, go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> Jesus, that was bad. Oh, God, don't look at me, Eddie. Don't look the other way. Uh, tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Uh, what do you think about Benny? Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Yeah, he hasn't been around for a while, has he? Uh, so Benny likes to take off, huh? Uh, want to tell me where he goes? Now, let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. Man, I'm not what used to playing Tommy a character with such you? low speech. Uh, what do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack Review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. You know what? Now that I think about it, whenever we see one of those low speech, like, one of those speech checks that we're going to fail, we should probably take it. Uh, really, what kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack Review. Songs, dancing, jokes... We got it all. Mm. Maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. 3%? Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Make it 5% and you've got a deal. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right. Five percent it is. I mean, five percent is pretty bad. But, eh. All right, um... What other entertainment is there on the strip? Let, let's see if we can't do this again. Let's see what he says. Oh, um, it ain't even a thing. Forget I even said it. <laughs> all right, what other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? I know, that? Tommy, I'm sorry. Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the Tops, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, Tommy, I didn't mean anything by it. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Oh, man, good old Tommy. I, I want his eye patch. it's gotta be said. Take it easy, baby. I wonder if we can find an eye patch somewhere out in the wilderness. Or perhaps we will have to do some sort of foul thing to, to poor old Tommy Torini here. Maybe do like a reverse pick. Oh my god, what the fuck? I dig this crazy sled. What are you guys doing back here? Oh dear lord. 
Why is there some blood? What? I don't know. Maybe it's just some uh, Nuka Cola cherry. <laughs> Good God. Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding, baby. Let's head on out of here. Let's check. Um, start tracking our quest. Um, I think we, yeah, talent pool. That's what it's called. Yeah, I think we've seen everyone who um is is part of this quest. I don't know. Maybe not. It. No, yeah, we have actually come across everyone Hello. who we have to uh check in for this quest. It's um that ghoul comedian, the insult comic at um the Atomic Wrangler. It's uh that guy on the street telling those jokes nonstop. Um, it's the dude all the way under the billboard. And that singing guy all the way back in Novak. Oh my goodness. What a trek it will be. But first, we gotta get the folks here close to home. Good old sweater vest. Billy Knight. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Jeez, some people. Oh, shit. He <laughs> you again. You should meet my bookie. You have something in common. Every time I talk to you, I lose caps. Are people just like, when he's out here, he doesn't have a little hat or anything. Maybe people just come by and throw bottle caps at his face. <laughs> it's just, yeah, here, take some. <laughs> yeah, I just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Uh, who are you? The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you, oi. Uh, but we're standing on a street corner in the middle of nowhere. I mean, this isn't the middle of nowhere, come on. Um, yeah, let, let's say it's very impressive. Woof. If you're not the most sarcastic fella I ever met, your standards are so low they could use you at the annual Gamora Sassy Limbo competition. As the bar. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the fucking, the, the way the dialogue is a little stilted because of the engine. Oh god. Tommy Torini at the tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a word for you. Um, before we say that, how long have you been doing comedy? If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. <laughs> I guess I that's got a face only bad. a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Oh my God, don't push your luck, man. It, 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 there was one good one. Jesus Christ. Um, with jokes like that, no wonder you're working the street. Um, uh, so you're looking for your big break. The break's better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Uh, Tommy Torini at the tops is hiring entertainers. I could put in a word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, fifty. No, twenty. Ten. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Uh, don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Yeah, and this means that we get a bigger cut, right? Whoa, geez, what was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Oh shit, and he's off. Holy hell. Look at him go. Alright, don't walk, run to the tops. Alright, now now where's the next one out here? Um, yeah, the Atomic Wrangler. We should be able to fast travel closer, shouldn't we? We don't need to go through all this, uh, business. Uh, I think this is this gets us pretty close, right? Or maybe not. I can never remember which one, which, uh, part of Freeside this one gets us to. It very well, uh, may be the awful side. But we'll have to see. Oh my good god, the loading screen is uh, taking a bit. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, man. <laughs> it actually, as it turns out, we're not even in Freeside at all. Good god. How awful. Oh dear lord. So many loading screens. It's like I'm playing Mass Effect Andromeda again. Good god, man. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, should be right up there through the old garbage wall. Oh, God, that kid is there eating that rat again. Oh, man. Oh, shit! Hey, oh. you're the one who's been going around helping right. people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. I should have known it was uh, a king by his fancy hair. We gotta keep an eye out for that. If they got some sort of beautiful, luscious hair, then we know that they're, they're a-okay. -okay. I mean, that kid isn't wrong. We just failed the, uh, the speech check or whatever. Eventually, we'll have our speech up. Don't worry about it. 
tables more All right. And the women are just like the booze. Good God. <laughs> Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper. Right? Yeah, I've, I've been. I'm going. Heck yeah. Advertising works. Actually, we're going there to steal business. <laughs> so, eh, take it or leave it. All right. Let's see what's up. Oh, there he is. Wow, he's performing. Tell us a joke, Hadrian. Uh, no? Okay. Well, if it isn't my number one fan, what can I do for you, number one fan? <laughs> uh, Tommy Torini is hiring new acts at the tops. I think you can make some good money, or make good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to you, to one to the to Garrett and try to convince him to let you go. Huh. Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Oh, he owes me some favors. Yeah, go on. Scram. Man, I guess old uh, Hadrian hasn't been paying attention to, like, you know, all the all the Good new talent. Day. The other kinds of talent. Jacob Hoff. What, what, are you, what the hell are you doing here? Can't talk. Much work to do at the fort and Atomic Wrangler. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. He's tending to the stills. Yep. I thought maybe he was back on his uh, path of destruction, so to speak. Man, you'd think um, the the folks at the, of the at the Mormon fort, or maybe even here, would give him a new set of clothes. But eh. all right, James. I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Oh man, yeah, it was really something. But you wouldn't have seen much. Just some bullets raining out of nowhere. Uh, I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. Uh, I could pay you. He's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. But how do you lose on folks not coming into a place with a ghoul performer? Um, man, <laughs> we really play into the, uh, the racism angle, don't we? With the, the old barter check. Good lord. All right, let's do it. So just a bit of casual racism to appeal to old James Garrett. I admit, that thought had crossed my mind. Maybe you're right. Maybe I'd do better with a human act. He's all yours. Alright, cool. Bye. Tell Hadrian you've gotten him out of his contract. Hadrian, I got some good news. I don't know if you saw it from up here. Any luck with Garrett yet? I mean, you're gonna have to have a better act than this. You're just kinda standing up here being silent. Uh, but Garrett's agreed to let you out of your contract. You can go to work. You can go work at the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great! Hey, easy, Thank you. easy there, Hadrian. This isn't quite a shithole. I mean, there, there's a lot of good memories we've had here. Alright. Tommy Torini. Right. Okay. Two more, and we know exactly who they are. Okay, let's see. Ooh. World map. Oh, gosh. Which one? Oh, yeah. Of course. It's handily marked for us. Let's get this guy first. Hmm. Is it a... Hmm. Because this guy is the most important one, because he this is the only opportunity for us to get his special gun. But we may not be able to get it. I don't know. I can't remember if it was a barter check for it or a speech check. I guess we'll find out. Oh, look who it is. Just some random trader out here. Maybe we'll see what they've got. We do have a lot of things to sell off. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Uh, all right, Boone. Fine by me. Give me some garbage to sell. There we go. Looking pretty good. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, yeah, I'd like to see what you got. Sure. Oh, nice. Got a fair bit. Let's see. Let's get rid of these 10 millimeters. Oh my gosh, the 12... Oh my god, that is very valuable. Alright, let's get rid of these. Um, submachine gun we can dump. Let's see, do we have anything here that we need to dump? No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we've got cigarettes on us as well. And regular cigarettes we could get rid of. Oh shit, we should have dumped these golden gecko eggs back at the place. I forgot about them. Uh, let's, oh wow, we've got more. Oh yeah, that's because we looted that. Good lord, my, my fucking memory is, will be the end of me. 
There we go. Cool. Let's see. Does he actually have anything good on him? Hmm. Three of clubs. May as well take it. Uh, looking pretty good. Gosh, should we get some of these mini nuke things? They could be pretty fun. I don't know. Chromed tubes. Huh. Let's see. Let's check the ammo. Does he have, like... I don't know. Missiles or something? No. Just these low yield and, and all that stuff for the mini nuke launcher. Alright. Fair enough. Um, except... Thanks. We still have more to trade off, though. We'll do that, um, at the old super vendor. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, it's some ants. Alright. Well, we don't need to fight them. We're gonna get plenty of XP. That's something that we need to worry about. Gosh, where is this guy? Did we go past him? Oh, it says he's right up here. Oh, God, is he... Oh, okay. It just hadn't loaded in the draw distance. I was like, oh, God, is he laying out here dead? Killed by some fire ants or something? Good God. Oh, man, it's been a while since we were on the road, huh? Going through the old Mojave. Especially with our old friend... Oh, where, where the fuck did Eddie go? Oh, there... <laughs> Jesus, what the hell? All right. Let's quick save. Just in case we mess this up royally. Howdy there, partner. Um, Tommy Torini at the tops is looking for musical acts, if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. What? What do you mean, show me what you've got? Here, take his card. Uh, tell him I sent you. I'm giving you a real opportunity here. How about some compensation? On second thought, I don't think you're the right fit after all. Yeah, barter check for sure. I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. Oh, nice. Alright, now we have the most annoying gun in the entire game, but it's actually pretty good. Let's see. I think it's an upgrade to, um, that gun. Let's see, where... where oh, jeez, there it is. Yeah, 50 versus 36. Oh my gosh. Huh, the DPS is actually pretty comparable. Huh. Maybe we'll, we'll use it instead. I don't know. Maybe we'll use that gun, especially because of the bonus crit chance on that. But nonetheless, let's at least equip and show off the stupid thing it, it does. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. But not cool after like a hundred times of doing it, because, you know, New Vegas is a pretty long game. You draw your gun out a lot. Oh, my God, yeah. And it even has... <laughs> God. You can see how, uh... Over time. Oh man, did we? Oh look. Oh my God. Wow. Man, I love this gun. What? It's definitely not a terrible curse. Jesus Christ. All right, let's get on back to old Novak. Old Novak land. Find the guy who plowed some other person's uh, daughter, wife. I don't know. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that we have to do in, uh, Novak? I don't think so. Man, imagine Boone, though. He must be having a good time out here, back again. Gets He gets to see Dinky again. Probably misses old Dinky. Alright, let's see. Is Down here on the bottom floor? And eh, looks like it's probably top floor, huh? Hey there. Ooh, alright. This one? Yeah, this is the one. Gosh, I don't even remember this guy's name. Bruce Isaac. Oh, it's you again. What is it? Uh, if you're looking for work as a singer, Tommy Torini at the Tops is hiring. Really? The Tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, if he's got a stealth boy, Mr. Bishop can very well hit a place like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later. Alright. Cool. Now we can loot his place. Man, you, too bad he didn't take his motorcycle. <laughs> Jeez. He really just got the hell out. Anything else he's got good in here, though? Probably already robbed him in the middle of the night. I can't remember, though. Uh, it doesn't look like he's got anything worthwhile. Reading glasses, I guess we could take that, but... Yeah, F it. Nope, okay. We're good to go. Well, let's head on back. We got everybody. Head on back to the Tops Casino. Get the turn in. 
And then we'll do our next step of our pre-DLC checklist. Oh my gosh. Thrilling, I know. <laughs> oh god, getting a bit of lag out here. Yeah, look at all these guys. They're all ready to rumble. Oh my gosh. No one really has commented on the fact that they've all changed their faces and have started, uh, I don't know, getting ready to use missiles or a uh, miniature grenade machine gun or something. I don't know. I guess no one, no one really knows. Maybe if we went to check in with the NCR or something, they would know. They'd uh, be like, oh, things are looking kind of weird out here with uh, all these robots looking pretty strange. So they've got some sort of uh, super grenade launcher. I'm not too sure about this. Trying to keep tabs on, on the, uh, the opposition, so to speak. Jeez, everybody is just wasted as hell. In the middle of the night, I guess. What are you going to do? It's like they said, um, that's Mr. House's big strategy is to... Uh, hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. Oh, God. We didn't come in the special door, though. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Good Lord. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, nope. Almost forgot it's on the top floor, right? Yeah. Yeah, over here. Oh, my gosh. I almost went over there again. All right, Tommy Torini. You're going to be amazed. I don't know if everyone got here already, but wow. We've got quite the, uh, the setup here for you. Oh, look. It's Hadrian over there. It's... Is that Bruce Isaac, I think, over there in the corner? Could be. Can't quite make him out. Where, where's everybody? Oh, there's the joke guy. Where's the lonesome drifter? Did he not make it up here yet? Maybe not. How's I mean, it hanging? He was, um... No, he wasn't the last one that we met. I mean, Bruce Isaac would have taken longer. Maybe he's wearing a suit or something and we can't tell. I don't know. Anyway, Tommy. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini. And how can I make your night? Um, let's see. Let's talk about the acts I recruited. The cowboy act? Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby. Real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. 5% of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now. Unless it's right here. Fucking Tommy Torini. He's got a... Oh, look. Oh, did we just... Huh? Well, let, let's see if we can get you more. You talking about on. Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your five percent, baby. You enjoy that. All right, and more. That comedian, you mean? Yeah, he was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your five percent. All right, and then that ugly mug with the razor tongue. <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your five percent. All right, sounds great. You know it, baby. Cool, we got them all. Take it easy, baby. All right, nice. Now the cool thing is, this crazy scene I that, dig this crazy slang. Uh, when we come back here, they'll actually Hello. be performing and all that Ring shit. Ding, baby. Pretty cool, but <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh shit, is this? Is this his stuff? Oh, man, look, his his hat is here. We don't really want that hat, though. We've tried on a Desperado hat before. It didn't, didn't take I to it. I dig this crazy slow. Anyway, we got it all done. Time to head to that super vendor and um, check out what that super vendor has got. I'm pretty sure they've got a very, very nice um, uh, lever action rifle, if I, memory serves me correctly. Let's see. Where is... Oh, here we go, yeah. We'll just have to... Um, Hmm. I guess we'll set a um, a marker. That way, at least hey. these little guys will will show us the way, guide us through the big bustling city. Oh my goodness! Normally, there would be some sort of sweet music, I guess, playing in the background that you could hear just ever so faintly. But you know what? Because we have music set to nothing. Ooh, man, we're missing out. So just imagine, there's some like, oh, we're hanging out in Vegas. Well. Good God. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, gosh. Yeah, I think we gotta go all the way down there. Hmm. It might actually be better for us to uh, go to the north gate here. Good Lord, for once in our life, I think this might actually be the right answer. 
headed right outside the, uh, uh, right outside Freeside. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's not a marker on that. Oh, gosh. There is something there. Oh, yeah. Here, let's put on... Um, we may as well use the Mysterious Magnum while we've got it. Let's quick save here. Who is that? Oh, it's a fiend. Oh. Jeez, not really getting many hits on him. There we go. Wow. Missed almost all of them except for the one that counted. Yeah, so see, you get actually a bunch of karma for wiping out these fiends, and there are a lot of them. Wiping them out is actually on our list. Let's see, what have you got them? Ah, uh, the old laser RCW. Pretty fun one. How does how does their helmet look? Some kind of wild goat party thing going on? Oh shit, what the fuck is that? What the hell was that? What was that noise? Oh my god! Well, that was scary. Boone, did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Alright. Gosh, I'm kind of uneasy now. Hmm. What could that have been? Sound like a big old, uh, choo-choo train or something. I don't know. Oh well. Sure, it was nothing. Or maybe not a choo-choo train, but like a gigantic door. Sound like a big sliding metal door or something. Maybe it's, uh, something to do with Camp, uh, or not, not Camp McCarran right there, but, uh, oh god. But, um, the old, who's a what's it, the old Crimson Caravan camp. Who is this guy? Is this just some wandering trader? It's Isaac. Hey. Who are you, Isaac? I don't handle buying and selling for the gunrunners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Uh, who are the gunrunners? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. You ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware? There's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. All right, so you work for the gun runners? For around five years now, I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Okay. Um, who's in charge of the gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Uh, so he's not he's not gonna say it, but, uh, the robot that we're gonna meet is actually- Oh, we can play Caravan with him? Huh. We might have to do that later. Because we will be back for him, and, and we won't use this dialogue yet, because that's more related to a quest. Later. Alright. Oh, here we are, yeah. Man. For whatever reason, I thought it was still a little ways off. Yeah, so here we go. One of the most important merchants in the game, I think. The gun runners, little old Hello, vendor truck. Potential customer. See, he's got some sweet woot loot back here. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Um, what is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the gun runners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. That's some impressive weaponry. Where, where did it all come from? All gun runner merchandise is constructed on site. Right. Uh, how did you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Hmm. I think it's actually impossible to uh, get in there and kill him without maybe... I don't know, maybe, maybe an explosive could some, could glitch through and like clip through the walls and get him, but I don't think you can actually get in there and waste this dude. Anyway, show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. Okay. Now, I won't uh, bore you with a whole bunch of inventory management between the companions and all that, but uh, let's have a look here at what we've all got. Oh, man, look at that. Now, this is what we want, I think. The brush gun? That might be it? No. No, that's not it. Brush gun is, is like the generic version, I believe. What we want is... Oh, shit, look at that. Esther. Or Esther. How do you pronounce that? Yeah. It's Dear Esther, like the game. All right. Oh, shish kebab. Oh, here we go, yeah. The medicine stick. Oh my god, it's expensive as hell. Good thing we're loaded with stuff that we can sell off. Anyway, we'll be buying this, and in between videos, I will sell off some more garbage to this dude, and we'll hopefully recoup a lot of our money, and maybe we'll buy so something else fun off of him. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, 
yeah, when next we come back, uh, we're gonna hit up the, the old checklist again. Uh, on the list, we're gonna wipe out some fiends. And then, we're gonna get a companion. A companion who I would like to have for, uh, the DLC. Uh, just, I, I don't know if it's important that we have this companion, but for personal reasons, I'd like it. Anyway, till next time, peace. Peace.